Hi guys, okay so for this video saya akan ajar kamu macam mana mau buat foundation for oily skin yang kadang-kadang kamu rasa foundation kamu susah mau tahan ataupun pandai cepat keki ataupun cepat berminyak pandai slide so this is the tutorial for you Okay, so first uh, saya mau share is this product. So um, this found this foundation, this technique is for oily skin or dehydrated skin yang berminyak. Dehydrated skin ni maksudnya macam itu kulit tidak cukup minum air and then dia pandai keluar minyak. So dia sangat kering. So you don't actually have oily skin. You don't actually have oily skin, but you have dehydrated skin, which means you need to hydrate more, drink more water, and also moisturize your skin a bit more. So if you have dehydrated and oily skin, uh, when you apply makeup, it doesn't really stick on the skin. So it's too dry for the makeup to stick on it. And then after a while, you'll see that uh, if you powder or if you macam to touch your skin, your foundation pandai lift off. They're tidak actually sticking on the skin. Okay, so this is a product that I want to share with you guys. This is by Hey Babe Skin and this is a pre-makeup oil and it also can be used as part of your skincare to hydrate your skin and it reduces oily complexion by 30 to 50%. Okay, so this one you can order from her Instagram. She sent this to me and uh, she asked me to review and try this. So uh, for a long time, I didn't get to really try out their punya benefits because I was doing models with normal to combination skin to dry skin. So they didn't really have dehydrated and very oily skin until recently when I got a few customers, they are ada dehydrated and oily skin. And I found this to be very very effective. My bride they pakai ni, and then after uh, six seven hours they came came back, and then it's a very very hot humid day. And when they got back, dong punya skin is still cantik. They're tidak too oily, too greasy. It's still very nice. And then the foundation pun masih cantik lagi. Yang macam sayang mau buka because it's it's still looking very good. So I didn't think that it would work so well, but it did. So I would highly recommend this. Okay, jangan cakap banyak. I'm gonna apply this on my skin. And the good thing is this one boleh apply for normal to dry to combination skin juga. And yeah, kalau kamu tengok, dia ada macam flower petals di dalam. And it smells like rose in a product. Okay, so it uh, becomes a bit glowy in the beginning, but then after a while, it will soak up into the skin and then it will kind of mattify a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, I have a little friend here. <laughs> it's fine. It's just a pimple. Okay, so after pakai the pre-makeup oil, kamu boleh teruskan dengan makeup dulu and let the oil just sink in and let it do its magic and then after that, uh, you can apply your foundation. So I'm gonna complete my eye makeup first and I'll be right back. Yeah! Okay, done with the eye makeup. Now back to the foundation. So foundation yang saya akan pakai normally for very oily skin, uh, matte foundations macam ni, Huda Beauty punya, ataupun uh, saya akan campur dengan Supra Color Foundation, these two, because ini saya rasa dia terlampau kering and this one pula terlampau oily for oily skin. So I will mix these two together. So saya akan apply the Huda Beauty Foundation, mix dengan sikit Supra tu. So just mix di tangan saya. So this combination I find uh, is very good especially for uh, of course very oily skin but also very sweaty skin kalau macam yang cepat berpuluh ini combination pun bagus juga kamu akan mix with your foundation brush on your skin so I match it directly to my skin color and then what you can do is you can dab 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 Ooh, gatal Gatal my pimple. Just dab 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 lightly, okay. And kalau macam saya punya pimple ni kan dia mau pecah sudah. If kamu mau apply makeup paling bagus jangan kasih pecah. Bias kalau kamu kasih pecah, kamu ada open wound and then itu makeup akan masuk. So normally saya akan biar saja. Okay, so there. 
okay then what you want to do is uh, blend it with your sponge so i will wet this with water hold on okay and then just dab 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 okay okay uh, concealer this is the concealer that i'm using you can use any concealer that you want and then just blend everything again it's a very light motion of dabbing dia tidak terlampau kuat Okay, so kita sudah cover everything. Okay, and then for oily skin or any type of skin, uh, I would I would recommend a cream contour. So I would use the RCMA cream contour. This is the shading punya uh, code. And then for my skin tone, I will use this color. And terus kasih shading. So what? Ini kebaikan dia is dia di bawah powder. So uh, bila kamu taruh powder nanti kan dia macam kena tanam lah kira so dia akan lebih tahan ok so just uh, start blending so doesn't matter macam mana skill kamu buat kamu punya cream contouring if me I like to terus uh, blend but if you like to kasih garis dulu and then baru blend it's really up to you yang penting is buat cream contouring Okay, hi guys. So, so <laughs> sudah powder sedikit. Saya pakai RCMA punya powder untuk di bawah mata and also di uh, chin sini, di sini and di sini. So semua saya pakai uh, sponge yang basah ni untuk kasih powder. Okay, and then sini saya ada buat baking sedikit. So after that saya akan apply a uh, translucent powder. Ini dari uh, Laura Mercier punya powder. So normally saya akan apply powder ni dab 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 dengan sponge yang basah. And then after that saya akan ambil saya punya pressed powder and just apply a little bit of it untuk uh, kasih nampak flawless. So just dab 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 saja. Basically sub sudah the foundation untuk oily skin and that's how I set the foundation. So uh, the steps are the pre makeup oil and then the foundation matte and cream campur, uh, concealer and then baking and then powdering. So basically itu and I'll be back with you after I finish my makeup. So my makeup is done and this is the finished look uh, but yang penting is the foundation punya part so the foundation is for especially for oily and dehydrated skin yang tend to become very very berminyak so that is the technique that I would usually use for my customers and also for my models who have oily skin oh please let me know how this tutorial has helped you and please leave a comment on what tutorial you want me to show you next so it can be for sensitive skin or dry skin or it can be for any type of eye makeup that you want to learn so please comment below and let me know and i'll see you in the next video bye